Issuing a statement, the Sri Lankan High Commission in India said the bilateral talks focused on a wide range of matters of mutual interest, which included economic cooperation, power and energy cooperation, connectivity and people-to-people -people contact. Foreign Minister G.L. Pires has stated that the Trincomalee oil tank farm agreements signal a close integration between two countries, resulting in substantial benefits, a win-win situation for both. The prospects for renewable energy cooperation, particularly in wind and solar power sectors, were also discussed at the talks. During the talks, Foreign Minister G.L. Pires also raised the fisheries issue and the two sides have agreed on the urgent need to convene all bilateral mechanisms in this regard. Meanwhile, Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and the Foreign Minister of Sri Lanka discussed a range of issues pertaining to the mutual strategic interests of the two countries. Minister GL Piris extended an invitation to Minister Jay Shankar to undertake an official visit to Sri Lanka in March this year. He also stated that Sri Lanka is very much looking forward for Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Sri Lanka for the forthcoming BIMSTEC summit in March of 2022. The key takeaway is the transformation of the relationship. It's an elevation to the new level of a strategic partnership. It's always been a close relationship. We've had our ups and downs, we've had problems, as is uh, usual and to be expected in any close relationship. Uh, but um, the main difference is that it is uh, ceasing to be purely transactional. And value of our meeting this morning was to explore in some depth uh, ways and means of making this a win-win situation for both countries through increased connectivity.